Well, it's time for this week's letter, and uh, you caught me doing some investigative work for Miss Leslie. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to talk about a couple things that are happening this week. You know, Saturday is our Home and School Mother Son event, and it's a baseball game at Vanderbilt. So thanks to Home and School for making the event possible. Also, uh, last week was the end of the grading period, so report cards are going out tomorrow. So make sure you look forward to that email, um, Children's Progress, and who would ever guess that we're headed down the home stretch with only six weeks of school left. So anyway, it's back to work. We're going to see if we can find Miss Leslie and see what she wants us to do. Oh, there you are. I'm here. Hi, Miss Leslie, how can I help you? I need you to do some investigative work for me, and I'm going to find out what this math mania is all about. I'll be right back. Okay. Why, Miss Hackett? Hello, Good Mr. Morning. Sabo. I'm detecting some clues here that there might be a math camp coming up. There is. This summer we have Math Mania, which is a problem solving and critical thinking camp. So we are going to have a lot of math mysteries that students are going to be solving using games and interactive um, activities. Well, it looks quite interesting. So this is going to be one of the games that the students are going to be playing. And they're going to have these tiles down here. Mm -hmm. And they have to figure out where these tiles belong. And they have to have all correct answers. So whatever they can come up with, this number has to equal this one number, and this number, and this number, and this number. So they have to use all of their math skills to solve this mystery. So there's a little critical thinking involved in a here as well. A lot of critical thinking. Excellent. It sounds like a good camp. Is it full? It is not full. So please sign up. Just it is time. August. The week of August. Well, that sounds good. I look forward to seeing the solution to these problems. Mr. Sabo has been helping me do a little detective work. We need some help with advanced reading detectives. I'm on the case. Thank you. So he's looking for Christina. She's going to tell you a little bit more about the advanced reading detectives camp that I'm leading. Um, this is going to take place a couple of the weeks, um, so look at your schedule. This is only for the advanced kids, so rising 5th through 8th. We're going to do a little more exploration with detecting, but uh, I think we're going to find Christina to tell you a little bit more. <gasps> Christina! Hi. Hi! We've been looking for you. <laughs> we need you to tell us a little bit more about advanced reading detectives. So basically, reading detectives is about finding characters and examining them, and finding their motives. And I personally like this one this camp because I want to be a lawyer when I grow up, so they have the basics and I know what to do. So sign up today. Listen to Christina. She's <laughs> experienced. Oh no, I really need help. Uh, looks like someone needs a sore refresher. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have our SOAR camps this summer, and SOAR is our study skills and organizational camp, and it has been offered for our rising 5th through 8th level students. A lot of our 6th through 8th level students have already taken it, like Max here, but we also have the SOAR refresher, which is just to refresh some of those organizational strategies. Uh, we also have SOAR for 4th, and that is for our rising 4th level students, and again, looking at organizational skills and study skills. So sign up today. Thank you, Max. So up next is, what's next? So where do you guys want to go to for high school? I have no idea, there are just so many choices. I'm thinking about Father Ryan, St. Cecilia, Ensworth, there are just so many options. Well, I think I have a solution for you girls. We have a new camp offering this summer called What's Next, and it's gonna be run by our, our admissions director, Miss Elizabeth, and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about what that camp offers. I'm really excited about working with the rising eighth grade class for next year this summer in talking through high school options, um, how to fill out applications correctly, interview techniques. Each day we're going to have a different uh, representative from one of the high school admissions office talking to the students about what they offer and if that school might be a good fit for them. So we need at least 10 uh, of our rising 8th grade uh, students to sign up. So be sure to sign up today. Email Miss Leslie and, and she'll get you into my, my fun camp this summer. Start to find some clues around campus for the upcoming Art and Music Festival that will be held in conjunction with our Earth Day celebration. Now the date is April 22nd. Uh, it's an all-day event. Uh, Earth Day will be celebrated with a variety of guest speakers and student activities, including lunch on the playground. Thanks, Mr. Dan. 
Uh, but we'll also have the kickoff of our art and music festival once school dismisses at 3 o'clock. So come one, come all, be a part of the fun, be a part of the celebration. Uh, not only are we celebrating all the activities about the earth, but we're celebrating all the students' accomplishments and all their hard work. Well, that just about wraps it up. Have a great weekend, and as always, go Bears. Bears? Where'd they go? Let me see if I can find them. Oh, <laughs>